Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Teal Garcia and on this channel we do all things photography related. Today that means we're going to do some editing. If you like that kind of stuff, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can watch all of my videos with me and if you hit the little bell, you'll get notified when I post new ones. Okay, so I am editing these photos of a friend of mine. She came from Oklahoma to visit me in Hawaii with her family, so of course we did photos. Well, the time of day here wasn't ideal. As you can see, they are shaded, but the mountain behind them is super bright. Photographers are taught to look for open shade. So let's say it's not the right time of day and you need to go take photos of something. You end up finding the open shade so your subject is shaded, but the stuff in the background isn't always going to be shaded. It's gonna be kind of bright and blown out because it is not shaded back there and the sun is high. That's what I kind of wanted to talk about. I wanted to show you not necessarily how to fix this, but just kind of how to tone it down a little bit so it's not such a huge difference. Obviously you cannot fix it completely, shade and bright sun. A little bit different. I'm gonna show you like what I do to help this situation out anyway. Okay, so this image was shot on my Sony a7 III with my 50 millimeter 1.8 lens and the settings are up here if you want those for whatever reason. All right, and obviously the first thing I'm gonna do is fix the white balance. So I'm gonna use the little dropper here and we're gonna fix that, perfect. And the presets that I have been using for her photos are the Tribe Wolfpack photos, which I was just looking on the website and I don't think they sell this pack anymore, but I love all of their presets. So I did link that in the description for you. I have probably like five or six of their preset packs and I love them all for different things. But this one, um, I am going to be using Wolfpack 5 for these photos. See, it gives it nice, pretty little golden touch. Um, and then two for these presets, a lot of them, I think all of them. I'm trying to think of a pack that doesn't, but they all have grain. <laughs> Most of them do. Just assume that they have grain if you buy these. And I do remove the grain. Okay, now that we have a preset on here, white balance is fixed. It looks super warm and cozy, even though they were kind of cold by the ocean. Um, I'm gonna work on fixing this here at the top. Okay, so we are going to be using the graduated filter for this. So you're gonna click on that and you're going to kind of move that where you want it. Okay, so I do wanna point out that this filter is over them also. However, I will show you how to remove it. So right now, even though this filter is over them, I don't want you to pay attention to that. I just want to pay attention to what's happening up here and I will show you how to erase it off of them like it never happened. So first things first, we want to mess with exposure, obviously. We don't wanna to get too crazy with it, but exposure is the first thing. I do think it's a little bit warm, so I do wanna cool it off just a touch. Uh, maybe pull some highlights down. That's gonna bring out that sky. How super pretty. Obviously, again, they look super dark. We are just concerned with the light part for now. That looks really good. Um, I do wanna pull the texture up because I do want contrast. I'll just put it back at zero. Pull some whites down. All right, so I feel like that looks pretty good. Again, still bright, just not as dramatic. We've brought the sky back. All right, so now the secret, the key to this and using this graduated filter but removing it off of the people or whatever you don't want it on is coming back over here. So right now we're in the edit section and we're gonna move over to the brush. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to erase. So. At this point, we are going to erase where we don't want that graduated filter. And do make sure you have the auto mask on. It just kind of helps you with like lines and stuff. So if you want to check and see kind of what your progress is, you go up here and you hover on your little dot 
and it'll show you in red where your progress is. So obviously I need to mask a little bit more off on that side. All right, that looks pretty close. So I'm gonna go done. So this is where we're at. Let me show you a before and after just so you can kind of see the difference. Let's see. There, from there to there. See, it's, and we're still not done editing this photo. We've just kind of messed with that really bright spot. All right, so from here, I will just kind of edit the photo how I normally would. So I definitely want to come over here and play with the hue and saturation sliders and luminous. Look how cute he is. All right, I'm gonna bump up the exposure on their skin tone. I feel like this looks really good. And I think from here, I'm gonna take this photo into Photoshop. All right, so now we're in Photoshop. There are a few things that I always do if you've watched any of my other editing videos. I always do a levels layer first because I really like contrast in my photos and I always bring the whites up and then I usually bring the blacks in too if I need to, but I don't really need to on this. All right, so far so good. So I do think that, so I love the way they look. I'm just looking for maybe a little bit more contrast in the back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new layer, but I'm going to go to this little circle that is like cut in half, like a little yin yang kind of looking thing, and I'm going to put solid color. So I'm going to create a solid color layer, and I actually want to create a solid black layer. Crazy, right? Stay with me. Um, then I'm going to go down, and we're going to do soft light. And I know this looks insanely dramatic however this is my favorite way to add like really good contrast to a photo obviously we're not going to keep it like this we are going to use a mask to kind of take it off of where we need it and then we're going to lighten it up so while it's super dark like this though i do want to remove it from them and the rock so kind of this just whole foreground situation and how i'm going to do that is I'm gonna use this layer mask on the side. And if you don't know about layer masks, I do have a whole video on layer masks explaining exactly what the whole black and white situation is. And you can find that in the description below. So I have this white mask. I'm going to paint over it with a black brush to remove it. White is on, black is off. I'm using a fluffy brush. I am going to turn the opacity down just a little bit to give myself some forgiveness. But that is all I'm gonna do. I'm going to paint over all this area. I don't want the contrast. So if you hit your little um, like backslash key, um, it'll show you and it'll show you kind of where your mask is, which is super helpful. So it looks like it's pretty good. I might um, touch up a little more where their hair is, but I think that's about it. Otherwise, it looks really good. Okay, so I have that done. It looks really good. There we go. The top of the rocks here, I don't particularly care about because they are black rocks anyways. All right, so now we are going to take this filter. Now we're gonna take this layer and we're gonna just turn it down because it's entirely too much. 
put, that's where we were, and now that's where we are. Looks good. All right, I'm also going to now do a curves layer because I still, I want them to pop a little bit more and I like doing this with curves. And then I love, if you don't use this little guy, it's pretty perfect. It grabs just the tone that you're working with instead of you having to guess. Let me open this for you. Instead of you having to guess on the scale, like what point you need, use this little guy and just drop it where you want it. Press and hold and move up or down. All right. And I also, I really like that on them, but I don't like that on the background. So I am once again going to use this layer mask and a paintbrush and I'm going to paint it off the back because we just took all that time to darken that. So I want to put it back. All right. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so now I am going to flatten my image because I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. And what I'm gonna do now, so the sun was coming from the right, but it was coming like far to the right where we didn't get any pretty sun in the picture. So I'm gonna add a little fake light. I know a lot of people think it's a little weird, but I like it. Um, I use the gradient tool and I use um, orange fading into nothing. So there's two different color oranges, but it does fade into being like a sheer transparent, I guess would be the right word for that. Um, and then I also use this little like star. I know a lot of people use the gradient the radial one, but I use the little diamond gradient. I think it looks a little more realistic. And then I do a few different layers and I am doing this on a new layer. I do a few different directions. I concentrate a few. Again, it all kind of just looks the same, but, and you can always do like really big ones where it just kind of is very light, you don't really see much. All right, and from there, we're gonna go into your blend modes here, and we're going to go into screen. All right, so that makes a super pretty light layer, but we're gonna turn it down, because you know, don't ever do anything at full opacity. It looks a little strange. But see, it kinda adds dimension. You can tell the light was coming from that direction. We like it. All right, I'm gonna happy with it, so I'm gonna flatten the layer. And now I'm going to just continue to edit. I do a few things when I finish photos. I have a few presets, not presets. I have a few actions that I've created over the years to just kind of polish off my photos. One of them is this one. And this one just adds like warm shadows to every photo. See, deep warm shadows, it's very dramatic. I put this on every single picture at between 16 and 20%. It doesn't do a lot, but I do feel like it, no matter how I edit a photo, it polishes off the photo. Like it kind of gives the same tones to every single photo, no matter how I edited it, which is what I like. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also, I have this one called Unicorn Poop. And it essentially just adds like a magenta hue all over everything. And I'm gonna turn that down too. And it just kinda, I don't know, it kinda like livened everything up. It picks up the pinks and everything. Very, very subtle, but I don't know. I notice if I forget to do it. And then I do have a flatten and sharpen action that I made and I actually do have a sharpening video that shows you that action if you are interested in that. All right, so I think I'm done. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you hung in there with me, if you have any questions about anything I did, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.